And Dragon is now less than seven meters away from the International Space Station as it continues to station. Again, we talked earlier that launch is all about accelerating the vehicles to orbital velocity. And, e and we will be continuing to orbit the Earth, handing over between our coverage. Dragon contact and soft capture complete. Pacific, the International Space Station and Dragon were flying 260 statute miles over the Atlantic Ocean. So we have all of those checkpoints along the way to docking. So we have those waypoints now uh, with a Commander Anne McLean on your left and pilot Nicole Ayers on your right. You can make that initial capture uh, in the grand arrival when Crew 10 arrives at the space station. Dra actually used AI for some initial inspiration and then a human artist perfected the design. So it's a 10 sided patch and there you can see a, uh, another yes. view um, of dragon this is a camera on the international space station so that gets it never gets old looking at views of spacecraft it's silhouetted against earth and if we space station it's now inside a uh, waypoint zero approaching waypoint one which is that 220 meter mark of the, of the uh, docking port the international docking adapter and as it closes station, its way in on the has all the data dragon is transmitting docking camera video Please confirm. Now again, the station teams here in the International Space Station flight control room. V2 power cycling allows him to have the view from Dragon itself as it moves up towards the docking axis, which you're seeing now. Now when you see those displays, you'll see the trajectory curve out, the spacecraft itself calculating brake proceeding inside the keybound sphere. You are seeing the docking light begin. I'll resume its final approach and finish its fly into the International Space Station's Node 2 forward docking port. The vestibule, which is the area between the Dragon hatch and the station hatch that was previously exposed to the vacuum of space. And then once that happens, um, they will conduct a series of leak checks and there on your screen, you just saw NASA astronaut Sunny Williams actually floating um, right in front of that hatch that will be open in just a little bit. These views provided by an external camera on the exposed facility outside of the Japanese module. 